The purpose of becoming a learner is to reinforce the idea that the primary purpose of college isn't to learn a professional set of skills, but it's to become a learner. You know, I've gained so many things from that book. I think the biggest like principle, like foundation principle that's really helped my college career that I've gained from that book is I learned that college is not about getting a degree, so it's not about getting through college with a degree, but it's about getting from college. So I think in everything we, in life, we can choose to get through it or get something from it, whether we like it or not. College isn't, some, isn't supposed to do something to you. You're supposed to do something to yourself by being in college. You don't leave college and then you're finished. I'm done learning and now I just, you know, deploy my learning in the marketplace. You get a job, your employer is going to expect that you will keep up with the changing market. And that means being having the capacity to think about new problems, face new challenges. So I think the learning to be a learner is a really important way of students understanding what they're doing here. From my standpoint as a physician, it amazes me every day that I have to do things and prescribe medicines that simply didn't exist at the time that I went through my training. So I've had to learn to be a lifelong learner. Uh, I came out of school with an understanding of antibiotics, of uh, radiology imaging, uh, and now I do CT scans, which didn't exist at the time that I trained. Whatever job you're in, it's not static. Yeah, you may not be using that calculus class, but the important part is you learned how to learn calculus. So you can pick up anything as soon as you become a learner. All of a sudden, you're much more marketable. You have so much more to offer future employers. Some of the skills that I'm trying to learn now as a college student to become a better employee in the future would just be to gain more people skills and to be more understanding and be more patient. A lot of the things we learn will be forgotten and what will be really valued in a job setting is who we are and how we can react and adapt to the situations that we're given. It's not just a job training program. It's an opportunity for self-actualization, to learn how to flourish as a human being, uh, to learn what it means to think clearly on moral questions and practical questions and all sorts of things like that. Uh, it's such a waste when students leave that on the side instead of taking advantage of it. By reading the Becoming a Learner book, it honestly changed my whole perspective on why I'm going to college. I guess to a student that's just starting out in college and you know if they're given the Becoming a Learner book, I would tell them to really, really take it to heart. I mean, honestly, it's a short book. Uh, read through it a few times. And don't discount it because you think you already have learned what's in the book. I wish that I would have read the Becoming a Learner book as an incoming freshman. My students, when they think about themselves as learners, they seem to just think about themselves differently. They take a different level of responsibility for their work. You will spend the rest of your life in an active engagement with knowledge. So what the university is doing is giving you the, the great blessing of a space in which you can learn how to do this. But you, your family, your employer, your nation will all benefit from you if you learn how to be an intentional learner because it, it doesn't ever stop.